वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स टू द वर्चुअल लैब डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन दिस वीडियो डेमोन्स्ट्रेट्स एनालिसिस ऑफ स्टेनलेस स्टील अलॉय द लिंक्स फॉर द अदर एक्सपेरिमेंट्स आर प्रोवाइडेड एट द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो एंड आल्सो इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स टू गेट द नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ नेक्स्ट वीडियो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब लाइक एंड शेयर द वीडियो आई एम डॉक्टर सुजाता कसबे फ्रॉम अबा साहेब गरवारी कॉलेज पुणे लेट अस बिगिन द एक्सपेरिमेंट aim of the experiment is determination of iron and chromium in stainless steel theory stainless steel alloy contains large amount of fe and small amount of chromium and some other impurities the alloy is soluble in dilute hcl iron and chromium both can be estimated gravimetrically iron can be precipitated as feoh rise and subsequently weighed as fe2o3 chromium in the alloy is present as cr3+ it can be oxidized to cr4+ by adding naoh and h2o2 chromium can be finally weighed as pbcro4 chemicals concentrated hcl concentrated hno3 solid nh4cl liquid ammonia 3% h2o2 solution two normal naoh solid lead nitrate सोडियम एसिटेट एसिटिक एसिड बफर सॉल्यूशन एपरेटस सिलिका क्रुसिबल जेल डस्ट फ्लास्क फोनेल बीकर ब्यूरे एंड गुच क्रुसिबल प्रोसीजर ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट इज वे अबाउट 0.3 ग्राम स्टेनलेस स्टील अलॉय ऑन अ वॉच ग्लास देन ट्रांसफर दिस अलॉय in a gel dust flask and then add 10 ml distilled water after this add 5 ml concentrated hcl keep the stem cut funnel it will act as a air condenser then heat the solution on low flame if the alloy does not dissolve then remove the burner and cool the flask thereafter add 2 ml concentrated hno3 and then heat the solution again till the alloy gets dissolved after this transfer the solution in 100 ml volumetric flask then wash the beaker with little amount of distilled water and dilute it up to the mark now transfer this diluted solution in a 100 ml beaker so as to get homogeneous solution now fill this diluted solution in a burette and from this burette take about 25 ml diluted solution in a 100 ml beaker add to this solution 5 ml dilute h2so4 and 2 ml concentrated hno3 continue the heating till the solution becomes yellow green then cool the solution thereafter to this solution add 0.5 g nh4cl and stir it well then add 1 is to 1 ammonia drop wise stir it well then heat the solution for 2 minutes the ppt consists of hydroxides of both fe and cr allow it to settle it down now filter the precipitate through ordinary filter paper pierce the filter paper wash it with 10 ml to normal nh and then with 10 ml 3% h2o2 the entire precipitate comes down now add to this solution 10 ml to normal nh boil the solution the precipitate of feoh rise remains as it is while the precipitate of 
CrOH thrice dissolves in NaOH and H2O2 to form Na2CrO4. Here, chromium is oxidized from Cr3 plus to Cr4 plus. Filter the precipitate of FeOH thrice through Wattman number 41 filter paper. The filtrate is seen yellow due to formation of Na2CrO4. Now, dry the precipitate of FeOH thrice by placing it in a oven at 120 degrees centigrade for 1 hour. Meanwhile, take the weight of empty crucible plus lead. Then incinerate the filter paper along with the residue. For that, fold the filter paper and fix it with the pin. Hold it with a pair of tongs and burn it. Then transfer it in a previously weighed silica crucible and heat it strongly for half an hour. Then cool the crucible well and then take the weight of crucible plus lead plus residue and record the reading in observation table. Observation table for the estimation of Fe2O3 gravimetrically. First for taking the weight of alloy, the observation table is weight of the empty wash glass, weight of the empty wash glass plus alloy, then finally weight of the alloy is 0.3 gram. Observation table for the estimation of Fe2O3 gravimetrically, weight of the empty crucible plus lead, weight of the empty crucible plus lead plus residue and finally weight of the residue. Calculations 25 ml diluted solution contains x gram of Fe2O3 hence 100 ml diluted solution contains 4 into x gram Fe2O3. Fe2O3 corresponds to 2 Fe 159.7 gram Fe2O3 corresponds to 111.7 gram Fe so 4 x gram Fe2O3 corresponds to 111.7 into 4 x divided by 159.7 a gram Fe. So, W gram alloy corresponds to a gram Fe. Therefore, 100 gram alloy corresponds to a into 100 divided by W that is the B percentage of Fe. So, here we have estimated Fe2O3 gravimetrically. Next step is estimation of PbCrO4 gravimetrically. For the estimation of Cr as PbCrO4, take previously preserved solution and to this solution add 10 ml acetate buffer solution and 20 ml 4% lead nitrate solution. Chromium is precipitated as PbCrO4. Digest the precipitate on a water bath for about 20 minutes. Continue the digestion, then precipitate of PbCrO4 will form after 20 minutes. Meanwhile, take the weight of empty gooch crucible, filter the PBCRO4 precipitate through this gooch crucible which is previously weighed and wash this precipitate with 0.1% HNO3. Then place it in oven at 120 degree centigrade for 1 hour. Take the weight of gooch crucible with precipitate. Write the reading in observation table as weight of the empty gooch crucible plus lead, weight of the gooch crucible plus lead plus residue and finally weight of the residue. Calculations 25 ml diluted solution corresponds to Y gram of PBCRO4 therefore 100 ml diluted solution contains 4 Y gram of PBCRO4. So PBCRO4 corresponds to CR. So 323.2 gram PBCRO4 corresponds to 52 gram CR. Therefore, 4 Y gram PBCRO4 corresponds to 207.2 into 4 Y divided by 52 C gram of CR. So, W gram alloy corresponds to C gram of CR. Therefore, 100 gram alloy contains C into 100 divided by W that is Z percentage of CR. Final result table, percentage of Fe in the stainless steel alloy and the percentage of CR in the stainless steel alloy. Expected approximate percentage of Fe is 70% and CR is 
to 20%. So students, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like and share the video to get the notification of next video. Thank you.